Arsenal have made initial contact with Bayer Leverkusen over Moussa Diaby. Now, Leverkusen, we understand, do not want to sell mid-season. And you might, might remember that the club were quoting around 100 million euros to interested clubs in the summer. So an update there that Arsenal have made initial contact with Bayer Leverkusen. Sky in Germany are currently reporting that there is an interest in the Bayer Leverkusen winger Moussa Diaby. Diaby currently has two and a half years left on his current contract. Arsenal are also keeping an eye on Rafinha's situation at Barcelona, although it is likely he will stay put in this window. And Dan, you were, I suppose, looking at some stats around Moussa Diaby. Does, does that make sense for you? He didn't, to be honest. He's an electric player. He provides a lot of pace. Key, key passes is what is one of his better traits as, as well, Mercer Diaby, as well as carrying the ball. But he predominantly plays on the right-hand side. And looking at his stats, he scored six from 14, playing from the right. But when he's played anywhere else, he's only scored one from 10. So that tells me, obviously, that his best position is the right-hand side. Saka is Arsenal's main man. Saka is Arsenal's number one player. If you're signing someone like Diaby, he isn't going to be playing in that position, so would you be getting the best out of him? Now, Arsenal, obviously, we're looking at Mudrik, who plays on the left-hand side predominantly. We were talking earlier about perhaps Ferran Torres, Rafinha. I just think someone like Ferran Torres fits the bill better for Arsenal because he can play all across that front three. And that's a little bit what they need. You know, Tottenham signed Richarlison because he covered all three positions. Maybe he isn't going to start every week, but he can play in all three of those positions when the first-choice front three is missing. I think that's what Arsenal 